I met my future husband a year ago, and we started dating right away. Tyler was in the military and traveled a lot at that time. I was bored alone. I started going to clubs for free. The guy knew nothing, of course. I met another young man there. His name was Christopher. He was a windy womanizer who didn't miss a skirt. Still, I was attracted to him. We kissed a few times. I didn't tell anyone so Tyler wouldn't find out. My young man soon moved on to a new position and stopped being away from home so much. The clubs and parties were forgotten. One night Tyler asked me to marry him. I knew it would happen and had already thought about it. My boyfriend was reliable and hardworking. He wanted a family and children. These qualities are rare in men, so I said yes. The only thing that frustrated me about Tyler was his absolute predictability every day and night of our life together was similar to the ones before. I kept thinking about the passionate Christopher, who remained a mystery to me. My mother used to say that the most important thing in a man is reliability, that passion will pass after a few years, and that you should choose a man who loves and respects you. All of these criteria are exactly what Tyler is. A few months after I proposed, I threw a bachelorette party. I dressed up, put on makeup. I took my friends to the same club where I met Christopher. I chose that place specifically to show him that he'd lost such a beautiful woman forever. Christopher was in the club, watching and smiling. I was dancing and drinking, pretending not to notice anyone. When I went outside to get some air, someone's arms wrapped around me from behind. I turned to feel his hot lips on mine. I don't know what it was. But we took a cab back to the hotel where we spent the rest of the night. I cheated on Tyler just before the wedding. The next day at the wedding palace, I wasn't myself. My family chalked it up to pre-wedding jitters. Tyler cheered me up and smiled the whole time. He was happy. It was a storm of emotions, but it wasn't over. After the ceremony at the restaurant, when everyone was pretty drunk, I saw him in the crowd. Christopher had dared to come to the wedding reception. I ran up to him and tried to get him out of the room. My lover from last night started blackmailing me. He said that your Tyler was going to find out that his fiance was cheating on him. To prove it, he showed me pictures on his phone from last night. One more time, and I'll delete the photos and disappear from your life. Cursing myself for being thoughtless, I agreed. I'll never forget cheating on my husband at the wedding. Christopher had indeed disappeared after a visit to the restaurant. Tyler and I are soul mates, but I'm so ashamed. I acted horribly. There's nothing that justifies what I did.